So we are going to play our first game, which is Cunning Linguistics. Cunning Linguistics, we went on to Urban Dictionary. We found some words or phrases, and you guys are going to come up with definitions for them. Each team will get a word or phrase and have an opportunity to come up with two definitions. If they get it right, they get points. If they get it wrong, the other team gets one opportunity to come up with a rebuttal definition. If they get it right, they get points. If nobody gets it right, I give points to whoever has the best tail. And we are going to play this for a couple rounds. Let's find out what our first word is for Team Peter Drunken Tail. Easter Mummy. Ooh. So, going with the Easter theme, what is the Easter mummy? I, I got an idea. You got an idea? Go okay. So, you know when you get the big chocolate bunnies or whatever from your grandma? Correct. And she, she gives them to you, and then you, you, you forget about it for a long time. Yeah. And then the next time you find it, you're like, a chocolate bunny, and you bite its head off and dust comes out? <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the Easter mummy. Dust finds its way into a sealed... No, the chocolate turns to dust. Oh. It turns to white, chalky dust, and okay. that's the mummy. Don't you say a thing! Yeah, you gotta wait your turn, Zach. <laughs> All right, You gotta fine. wait your turn. Zach is here. I got a dog over here. Zach's got his answer I'm ready. I'm wearing the goddamn costume. Try and win with a fucking, without a fucking dog. <laughs> Good they luck. Got, they got this, so Josh. Oh, God. Uh, What's an Easter mummy? Easter mummy is. <sighs> oh man, I got I got nothing. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It's it's a. Uh, uh, no. Go to the dog. Not, that's not what he meant. That I'll was just. That, <laughs> Jesus. Why why would you not have anything Easter anything? <laughs> it's a, he came up with the shitty answer of chocolate turning to dust after a long time. It was shitty. The bar has been set so low. You could come up with anything better than that. Okay. An Easter mummy is when... It, it's when your British mother... Uh, re, do they have Easter in England? Sure. Oh, yeah. Do. Big, and e big yeah, England. That's where it's Christ huge. didn't make it to England. No. So. <laughs> Skipped England, came straight to the States. <laughs> How much did you it. drink? I drank a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, so no, this is going to be the first time that a, a teammate's not going to have an answer? No, there's the Easter mummy is whenever... You, uh, you. Oh God damn! I, no, he's got it. Just give it. Give him another chance. There's a mummy. There needs to be a timer now for cutting the. There is no timer. That's what's great about uh, this round. To do it, I, I got. I'm bored. The, all right. On go that note, him. let's he go to funny. the comedy over here with Team Chris Abel. All right. In Easter Mummy, Aaron was almost on the right track. It's when your mummy becomes all like the night before Easter. You know, your mom, your mummy, yes. gets really excited about Easter. Right. And she'll make you a nice Easter basket and, and a nice Easter ham. And then at the end of the day, she turns into a rabbit. And you're like, what the fuck, mom? <laughs> and then, and then she. She leaves forever and doesn't come back. At least that's what my dad has told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that went down a road I wasn't expecting. I expected that road pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. That, that was, was a good, good answer. answer. Zach, that was a good answer. Thank you, it's correct. Bad Josh. Bad yeah, Josh. Bad Josh. Let's find out what the real definition is. Parents who steal their kids' candy instead of giving it to them. So an Easter mummy is that a real thing? Close to Zach's answer. <laughs> Abandonment. Pretty yeah, much. <laughs> that's like that's bad parenting. So Zach got it. Zach gets points on that one. Well, so you don't make us look bad, Zach. Yeah, Sorry. good job, uh, Team Chris Abel. Be better. Points to Penny. Penny gets all the points. You're gonna wear out that dog's joints. <laughs> 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 I like how she's sitting right now. It's really accentuating her, uh, her hourglass curves. figure. Her, her pigness. <laughs> That dog is part Let's find pig. out what our second uh, 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 qu uh, phrase is. Candy lingus. Candy lingus. Hmm. And we've got the confused Chris expression well, I'm already. Just speaking of. Candy lingus. It goes well for cunning linguistics. Come on. It connects so well. Chris. Well, I mean, my first thought was that's just when you're doing the lingus, but with candy. How, how do you do the lingus with how candy? Is that clever? No, no, no. no, 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 no that's team. not clever. That's no, no, the no. actual answer, I how think. How do you do the lingus? Well, it's, candy. It's when you're going down on a, a, a female and you incorporate candy. Okay, now that's been added. Another uh, part of this is that there's a female involved. <laughs> Sometimes with Chris, no. Anyway, <laughs> anything. It can be male or female. How, how might the candy be incorporated into some sort of lingus with a female partner? I don't know. I guess there's like pixie dust. <laughs> that guess. <laughs> No, no, that he's got an answer, Zach. He's got it. Or a ring pop, or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I know this one. Go. A ring pop. A ring pop. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, Zach, to you, okay. Candy Lingus. I know this because I have practiced it. Yes. And it is when you uh, have a chocolate bunny, but you eat the pussy out of it you first. Son of a bitch! That's what I was going to do. <laughs> I think that's correct. Yeah, you it's go not for the, correct. You go for the crotch first. And then do you continue, or is that the only part? No, you, you make sure that the chocolate bunny is satisfied. <laughs> and then, and and then, then you, you just leave it. Then, then there's a hole opening <laughs> for you to take advantage of. Yeah. <laughs> once, I mean, so once you do your stuff, then, then it's... You a, have to be, you have to have a turn. It's a chocolate pleasure shoot for you. <laughs> I want to see that on a, on a chocolate bunny packaging. Chocolate candy shoot for you. All right, team... Doesn't answer. What, uh. Not this time. Oh, Josh is here. Yeah, you're answering this one. Josh is present. Oh, man. Um, man, this is either. I feel like Chris is probably right, although I think the specific candy is probably Pop Rocks. But. <laughs> oh, wow. That adds a, a flavor to it. Jeez. But it might. It sounds like Lingus also just has that diseasey kind of sound. Yeah. Like, Why? it sounds like, like candy Lingus. Do you give disease you're, every you time you do You sound like a Lingus? horrible boyfriend. <laughs> and pause. I love how he's answering. Yes. He's not even done with his answer, and we're shitting on it right now. No, but it, doesn't it? It has that like that like it sounds like a special. Form okay, of, like, it sounds like, like a special form of scurvy or something. Yeah. Like so, oh, oh like, so candy lingus. The word is a sti. I mean, what what is lupus? Be. Is lupus where your skin? That's falls that's off? the werewolf in Harry Potter. Oh, okay, <laughs> just kidding. How it's what lupus. is what? How do you get candy lingus, or what are the symptoms of candy lingus? I don't. Your limbs turn into candy canes, and the crew eats them off. I'm not real. Sure. I like the pop rocks thing because well, pop like, rocks. Is, I think that's so right. You like, sprinkle them on the crotch, an and then as they're you know just they're popping <laughs> off, you, you killed it. You killed my answer. It time. was it was dying. I put no, it out of its misery. It was ready. Uh, let's find out what the real definition is. Choosing to suck, not bite, Oops. on a piece of hard candy. Well, since, again, the one person who's actually involved with an activity in the definition, I have to go with uh, Zach on this one. Thank you. He actually involved uh, some sort of sucking uh, motion. He always involves a sucking motion, <laughs> everything he does. <laughs> it's, it's true. Don't talk about it on camera. All right, so um, we're going to be done with kind of linguistics on that note.